The Nile Delta is one of the most vulnerable uh, hotspots in the world. And the Delta region accounts for uh, more than 50% of the economic activities in the country. The biggest risk at the moment is flooding from the sea. In addition to the usual sea storms, with climate change, the water level is rising in the Mediterranean, so flooding will increase with time. That's how we started looking at techniques to minimize the damages of such events. And now we are upscaling them within the GCF project. A couple of things make this, this project unique. The first thing is the nature-based solutions that we are using. In 2010, after this unprecedented event, we visited the area and we spoke uh, to the local people. And we said, what, what do you usually do to uh, protect your properties? And they came with a very simple solution. This solution of like, just having like uh, the reeds uh, uh, built as, as rows and uh, using the natural processes, the, way, the, the sand that's blown by the wind, it accumulates this sand, so it builds like a, a, a small dune around their lands and uh, their properties. We took this simple solution and we looked at how you can uh, design it in, in, engin in an engineering way. And uh, we took it, uh, improved it, and this is what we are using. So uh, we have five vulnerable hotspots uh, covering 69 kilometers of the Nile Delta, and we are protecting them now with those nature-based solutions. One of the aims of the project is to promote this way of thinking and designing future solutions that we involve the local people, we involve our engineers and researchers, so we combine the local knowledge with the expertise for other problems as well. How many engineers in the world have the modesty and the empathy to be able to start by asking the local population, how will you do it? I, I'm full of admiration. <laughs> <laughs>